Hello and welcome to my hotel room. Now, this week is a little bit different because I'm over in Chicago for Microsoft Ignite. So this week's video is all about Microsoft Ignite, some new announcements from Microsoft and my general experience over here. Quick introduction as always, Jonathan Edwards, Bearded365 Guy. You can find more information about me at Bearded365Guy.com. Now over to the content. What is happening at Microsoft Ignite? I've arrived in Chicago the day before the conference and I've flown in from the Philippines. Now, it was a 22-hour trip and the jet lag is killing me. So I'm wide awake at 3 a.m. I've waited until 5 a.m. and finally got up. Now, the first thing I do when I get to a new place is to find a perfect coffee shop that I can visit every morning. I'm a creature of habit and this one looks like a good coffee shop. So after a few hours work and a few coffees, the rest of the day is all about registration. It's a nice steady trip to the convention center to pick up my free bag and to get my lanyard. I then meet my colleague Simon who has flown in from the UK and of course we have a few beers. But then in the evening, we got invited out for a meal with our fantastic Microsoft 365 license partner, Pax8, and some valuable conversations were had. So it's showtime, and it's day one of Microsoft Ignite. After a couple of cups of coffee at my favorite coffee shop, it's over to the convention center. Now, Pax8 very kindly got us some VIP seats, so we sat right near the front. It's packed. I heard someone say that there were 10,000 people here. And the event all kicks off with Microsoft's CEO, Satya Nandela, with his keynote. Now, as you'd expect, a lot of the event and a lot of the keynote has been focused on AI and Microsoft's AI tool, which is called Copilot. Now, it's fair to say that lots of smart businesses are already looking at how AI can improve their business processes and make them a better business. So if your business isn't even talking about AI at the moment, then you should be. But there are also a couple of announcements that I was quite excited about. Satya mentioned the launch of a device next year called Windows Link. Now, more and more customers, again, are using cloud PCs like Windows 365. These are great for frontline workers. Now, the challenge has always been, what device do these users use to connect their Windows 365 cloud PC? And that is where Windows Link comes in. Now, if you go back to the old days with these thin clients, they had no hard drive, so they had no data on them, so they're secure. This is what Windows Link is. It's a small device which is going to cost about $350, but they hold no data. All they do, you switch them on, they have an internet connection, and they go straight to the Windows 365 cloud PC. So these are going to be incredibly useful. I am a little bit disappointed that these devices won't work with Azure Virtual Desktops, though. We've got lots of clients using Azure Virtual Desktops, and I think they would have been very interested in some kind of device to connect to that. But unfortunately, that's not going to work. Next up, there's a solution for local admin passwords. Again, this has always been a challenge. You don't want to give people local admin onto their PCs. Indeed, that is a failure on a lot of cyber frameworks like Cyber Essentials. But equally, sometimes some users might need some form of admin to update programs or install new programs. So there's a bit of a frustration because they don't have local admin and you can't give them local admin. But there might be a solution launched next year in Windows 11. And that is called Windows 11 Administrative Protection. So how does this work? Well, for example, installing or upgrading some software. What users can do is go to upgrade that software. But before that software upgrades, it will ask them to authenticate with Windows Hello for Business. So hopefully biometrics. It'll do the facial recognition and then it'll create like an admin token. That software will then upgrade. And as soon as it upgrades, the admin token is deleted and that user goes back to a standard account. Now, this sounds really good for lots of users. I would use it sparingly around my customers' organizations. I still don't want people installing what software they want. 
but for some users, it's going to be good. Now, towards the end of the first day, I had one of the proudest moments of my 18 years owning my managed service provider, Integral IT. We got a shout out on the main stage at Microsoft Ignite for all we're doing with Microsoft and its security stack. I mean, Sachin Andela was actually there in the audience and we got a shout out. Let me show you exactly what happened. I love the work that our partner Pax8 is doing. They're a distribution partner and they offer solutions across our stack. Pax8 has more than 40,000 partners, more than 600,000 customers, and more than 12 million licenses deployed across 62 countries. They worked with Integral IT, a UK-based reseller who specializes in the Microsoft security suite. And the focus here is doing the important work of securing SMB customers. They're helping these customers utilize the full capability of Microsoft 365, including Defender, Intune, and data loss prevention. So day two, and I attend lots of sessions on Microsoft Intune. Now, this is how we set up our client's IT infrastructure. It's a cloud-first approach where we make sure that all devices and users are part of Microsoft Entra and Intune. Why do we do that? Well, as you can see here, it's simple, it's flexible, it's secure, and it will always give the end user a great experience. And then there were some more announcements about some great new features that are coming to Windows 11. First, there's a new Windows backup where you can transfer settings and preferences across devices, even when you do a clean installation of Windows. And then there's Windows Hot Patch. How popular is this going to be? We can now patch desktops and servers without having to reboot them. This is going to be great for IT professionals and end users alike. Also, quick machine recovery. Now, this is probably Microsoft's response to the CrowdStrike meltdown early this year. There are plans to strengthen the security and reliability of Windows 11, all coming in 2025. Now, in the evening, we went out, which is never a good idea. But Simon, my colleague, and I met Tina Turner, and then we went to a karaoke bar. Now, thankfully, there is no video footage from that karaoke bar. And this is crazy, but here's my number, so call me baby. Okay, it's the final day of Ignite, and it started to snow in Chicago, and I mean snow. Chicago, snow, Christmas, almost feels like I'm in the Home Alone set. Today, we've been invited to an interview with our partner Pax8 to discuss what we thought of the conference, how Microsoft are helping us with our clients, and how Pax8 can help us grow our client base here in the US. More details to come of those plans soon. Then one final thing I wanted to see was the MVP wall. I was fortunate enough early this year to become a Microsoft MVP, which I was incredibly proud of. Microsoft creates a wall with the name of every MVP on it. Nice touch. So that's it. That's the end of Ignite. What did I think of it? I'd probably give it a six out of 10. Now, it costs a lot of money to come here. The ticket alone is about 1,500 pounds. You've got flights, you've got hotels, you've got time out of the office. And that was for two of us. So it's easily a 10,000 pound trip. I thought the event in places was a bit flat. I thought some of the sessions weren't very good. I think some of the 15 minute sessions you don't really get much value from. And look, Microsoft, I know AI is going to be massive, and I know you want to sell lots of Copilot, but you could have easily called this conference Microsoft Copilot Conference. I wanted to know more about other Microsoft stuff, and Microsoft has a lot to offer in lots of different areas, not just Copilot. But what it has done is give me an incredible drive to get back to the UK to further build our business. And that's partly thanks to our partner, Pax8, who I really, really value. And I've got some incredible content ideas. So watch out for those. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this different type of video, this little vlog. We'll be back next week with the normal content-rich features of Microsoft 365. I look forward to seeing you again soon.